Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now on question number six from this February March 2020 paper from the International A Level um, Cambridge 9709 syllabus. This is paper one, variant two. And this question here is about binomial expansion. So we have this bracket which is 2x plus a over x squared to the power of 5. And they've told us that when you expand this, the coefficient of x squared, of sorry, the coefficient of 1 over x is 720. So you'll end up with 720 over x in one of your, as one of your terms. Okay, so one of the terms would be 720 over x. The coefficient of 1 over x, 720 times 1 over x is 720 over x. Or you can say 720 times x to the power of minus 1. So we know that. Right, so we have to be uh, find the value of the constant or the possible values of the constant a, given that the coefficient of one over x is seven twenty. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here, I mean, there's a way to get this answer really quickly, which I'll show you how to do it anyway. But I'm just going to give you a background to how to deal with such questions. Now, in in P one of um, the AS level of 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 uh, Cambridge. And I think this is also in P2, which is also AS level of Edexcel. We use binomial expansion, but we only deal with positive integer powers. We don't we deal with negative powers, nor do we deal with um, fractional powers. That comes later on All right, in, a, a, in, in the A level. Okay, so that's A2, which is P, P3 and in P4. P3 in, uh, in Edexcel and P4... P, sorry, P3 in Edexcel in, in Cambridge and P4 in, in Edexcel. Okay, so we're only dealing with positive integer powers. So how do we deal with it? We use the NCR button when we're dealing with this. It makes life very easy for us. And I'll show you how to set it up. Basically, if, if the question said, expand this bracket, okay, you know, expand this and find the first four terms, for example, then what you would do, which is not what we're going to do here now for this question, but I'm going to show you how to do it so you understand where I'm, what's leading to how we actually solve it. So what we do is I always set up three brackets like this, okay, and then another three brackets below it, and another three brackets below, and so on. I keep going until I got to the number of terms that I need. So for, for example, if I said the first three terms, I would start like this, okay? And what you write here is you put 5, which is the power, and 0. You start with 5, 0. Then it becomes 5, 1, and 5, 2. Then you have 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, and so on. Up to 5, 5. You stop at 5, 5. Okay? And here, you write whatever term is the first term written there. And then here, you write whatever term is in this, this part here, including the sign. If there's a, a plus here, you put a plus. If there's a minus, you put a minus. Okay, and you always start now with, if, you, if it says in ascending powers of x, for example, you say 0, and you'd say 5. Okay, and then you say 1, and then you say 4. You say 2, and then you say 3. So these powers here start from the highest and go lower, and these start from the lowest and go higher. You could even, if, you, you know, if you're going to do the whole expansion, you can even go the other way around. Okay, you could even go the other way around. You could start with... Uh, this has the highest power, and this is 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, and, you know, 1, 4, and then 0, 5. You'd, you know, these go down, these go up. Now, what you notice here, and this will, of course, say 2x and a over x squared and 2x and a over x squared, and that's how you find each of the terms, right? Now, what you notice, some things that are going to help us to answer this question, is that these two always add up to the number which is over there. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on. And the number in this lower part is always the same as the number or the power over here. In fact, it could be either of them. 5, 0, 5, C, 0, and 5, C, 5 gives you the same thing. 5, C, 1, and 5, C, 4 gives you the same thing. 5, C, 2, and 5, C, 3 gives you the same thing. All right, so it could be either of these two. It doesn't really matter for the... This gives you the main coefficient, which is basically from Pascal's triangle. So that's how you would then find the terms. But here we're not asked to find the terms. We're asked to find um, the value of a when we know that the coefficient of 1 over x is 720. So we've got to think about this in a slightly different way. So I'm going to get rid of all of these. 
and I'm going to think about, given what we were told, I know that here we're going to have five. Here we're going to have five. Right? And these two numbers have to add up to five. They have to add up to five. And these powers, okay, the powers here, should be such that what we're left with is with x in the denominator. Okay? With x in the denominator. One over x. So we should, this should end up giving us something times one over x. It's going to be 720 times one over x. That's what it should end up with. We should end up with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to think about what powers we can have here. And we can do it by using some sort of algebraic method where we have like call this P, call this Q, for example. And we'll say, you know, this is going to be uh, 2x to the power of, it'll be 2, I mean, the, you'll end up with x to the power of P. And you'll have here x to the power of minus 2Q. Okay, so it's going to be ax to the power of minus 2, then you multiply the powers. And then you can say p plus q must be 5, and you can say, um, you know, p minus 2q equals um, 5. Um, and then you can therefore, you know, try to calculate the, the answer. Okay. Um, and in fact, it equals minus 1, because it's going to be that power. Uh, and then you can calculate the answer. But it's much easier for us to just use trial and error. So, for example, um, if I ch choose, for example, a 5 and a 1 here. I know that's going to be x to the power of 5, and that's going to be x to the power of 2, and I'll end up with something with x to the power of 5 on top, and x to the power of 2 underneath. All right, that gives me x to the power of 3 on top. That's not what I need. I want x to the power of 1 underneath. So that doesn't work. Okay, and you can then try, for example, 2 and 3. That's going to be x squared, that's going to be x to the power of 6. Again, it's not going to work. Okay, and then we can try 3 and 2. That's x cubed and that's x to the power 4. That's going to work. You're going to have x cubed on top and x to the power 4 underneath. That's going to work. So I know when this is 3 and this is 2, I'm going to end up with 1 over x because I'll have x cubed over an x to the power 4. So I know that these are the right numbers to put here. So here I can either write 2 or 3. doesn't make any difference. Give me the same number. 5c2 and 5c3 give me the same thing. And now I can proceed to write down what I need to write down. So first I'm going to put 5C2. Now this, how do you use your calculator for this? You've got NCR. So you're going to put 5, then shift, and then press this division button, that's C2, not P, C. 5C2, which gives you 10, times, that's 2X cubed, which is going to give me 8X cubed, 2X all cubed. And you're going to have times, you're going to have A squared over A to the power, X to the power 4 a squared over x to the power 4. So that's going to give us, you know, that's, that has to be equal to that. You're going to, you see you're going to have something over x. So if you simplify this, this gives you 10 times 8, which is 80, a squared over x, and we know that that's equal to 720 over x. That means 80 a squared must be 720. So a squared must be 720 over 8 or 72 over 8 which is 9 therefore a has to be plus or minus 3 okay so there's the answer to this question all right that's an easy way to do it just using some sort of trial and error try it you know that these must be integers and they must be positive you know they have to add up to 5 so you can very quickly get to the answer by trying different numbers and you know you can maybe spot it that's going to be cubed that's going to be to the power 4 when you square this so that's going to be 1 over x Okay, um, so that's the answer to part A of this question. Uh, three marks there. And now for part B, it says, hence find the coefficient of 1 over x to the power of 7 in the expansion. So that means our bracket is either 2x plus 3 over x squared to the power of 5. 2x plus 3 over x squared to the power of 5. Or we could say 2x minus 3 over x squared to the power of 5. Okay, so we got to think of the expansion of 1 over x to the power of 7. So let's do the same, a similar kind of thing. we got NCR. So here we have 7 and something, which we haven't figured out yet. We have 2x, and here we have 3 or minus 3x squared. Now, same coefficient. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to be an even number. 
because then it doesn't make any difference whether it's positive or negative, you'll, end, you'll get the same. And you see, there's one answer for the coefficient. So um, if this is positive or negative, it doesn't make any difference, we'll get that same answer. So I know this is obviously going to be even number, so therefore this must be odd. So let's try different values. We want to have 7 underneath. Um, so you have you know 1 over, one over x to the power of 7. Okay, and sorry, this has to be a 5 here. What am I talking about? That has to be a 5 here. Okay, that has to be a 5 here. It can't be 7. The power here goes over there. I don't know why I wrote 7. The power here goes over here, right? So how do you end up with 7? It looks like this has to be to the power of 4, and this has to be power of 1, because you have x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of 8. When you raise x to the power of 1, you get x to the power of 1. If you raise x to the power of 2 to the power of 4, you multiply the powers, x to the power of 8. So you have 1 on the numerator and 8 in the denominator. And then you, sub, you know, they cancel out, you're left with x to the power of 7 underneath. So this is going to be then 5c1 or 5c4. It doesn't make any difference, as I said. And that will give you your answer. Now, 5c4 is going to be basically 5, all right, as you'll see here. That gives you 5 times 2x is going to be 2x power 1 is 2x. And this is 3 to the power of 4, which is going to be 81 over x to the power of 8. And as you see, we're going to have 10 to 810 over x to the power of 7. Now, be very careful here. They only want the coefficient of 1 over x to the power of 7. So don't write it with it. Coefficient of 1 over x to the power of 7 is equal to 810. And as I said, it doesn't matter if this is positive or negative. If this was negative, okay, then that would still give us a positive answer this because you're raising it to an even power. Okay, so there's the answer to number six, part B. And I think, is that it for this question? Yeah, okay. So that answers question number six, all about binomial expansion. Um, other questions from this particular paper, February, March 2020, can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions about binomial expansion from P1 of the Cambridge syllabus can be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch the video that will appear in this link over here to um, find out how to use my channel in an efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.